Mommy, what's this? You can either be dating or married at 20. Oh, well, I want to be married. That's very young. I know, but I want to be just like Cinderella and marry my Prince Charming. I'm definitely going to have to set up an arranged marriage for her. Mommy, this just came on my finger and it's not coming off. That's what happens when you pick the married option. You may not remove the bandage until you turn 20 years old. Talk to any cute princess tonight? No, ever since this appeared on me, no princess will talk to me. Dang. They're probably just afraid of marriage. Yeah, I guess. If they won't talk to you, that's their loss. Thanks. Wait, you have one of these too? Oh, yeah. How did I never notice that? I guess since I'm a guard, you just don't pay attention to me. <laughs> you can remove your band-aid. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Happy birthday, you can take your band-aid off. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Remember, it'll be their first initial. It's an S. But wait, I don't know any princes whose names start with the letter S. Good thing I made an arrangement. What kind of an arrangement? Marriage, of course. I found you a very handsome prince. Does his name start with the letter S? Well, no. Then he's not my soulmate. Happy birthday, Violet. What's wrong? My mom. She's forcing me to get married tomorrow. To someone who's not your soulmate? Yeah, Sam, maybe you can talk to her. She thinks really highly of you. I mean, I'm just a guard, but I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Sam? S? He could be my soulmate. Sorry, your mom didn't listen. Never mind that. Sam, when do you get to remove your bandage? Actually, my birthday is tomorrow. No, you need to remove it right now. Huh? Why right now? Because I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. Please, just take off the bandage. Violet, I can't. It won't come off until I turn 20. All right, fine. But you better tell me first thing in the morning. I promise. I will. Your future husband has arrived. Actually, Mom, I really need to speak to Sam. Nonsense! You must not keep the prince waiting. Now come on. Hello, princess. Is that an S on your finger? Yes, it's the first letter of my soulmate's name. Well, just so you know, when we're married, I will have that removed. It's literally ingrained on my finger. Then I guess you'll be losing that finger. <gasps> Mom, I am not marrying that prince. He is evil. What? Your guard, Sam, he's... He's what? He's dead, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Sam can't be dead. I just talked to him the other day. I need to see him. The other guards found him unresponsive this morning. I'll take you to him, sweetheart. Sam, please, give me a moment alone with him. Of course, Violet. Sam, how could this happen? He had a V. He was my soulmate. You were so nice to me. I will never forget you. Oh, darling, you look so beautiful. You did choose to get married at 20, and now you get to finally marry your prince. I don't care. Do you take Prince Daniel to be your husband? I... Violet, wait! Please, stop the wedding. Sam? You're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. Sam, you're alive? Yes, you you won't believe what happened. Your mom, she poisoned me with a sleeping potion. What? But somehow, the spell was broken. True love's kiss. Mom, how could you? I... You said you wanted to marry a prince. Oh, so you two were plotting together. Well, we couldn't let you marry that scum, now could we? See, the thing is, Daniel, I'd rather marry a guard than a selfish, cowardly prince. I was wrong, darling. Please forgive me. Then let me marry Sam. And maybe we can talk about forgiveness. Yes, Violet, you have my blessing. Well, then what about me? You? You wanted to have my finger removed. Oh, yes, I did say that. <laughs> did he really say that, Violet? You know, as the princess's guard, it's my job to protect her from harm. Oh, please, you don't scare me. <gasps> really? Because you look a little scared to me, Daniel. I suggest you run now. Yes, sir. I've been meaning to ask you this for a long time. Violet, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I always had a feeling you and I were soulmates, Violet. Sorry you didn't get your Prince Charming. It's okay. I got something better. I get to pick whether I'm going to have a baby brother or a baby sister? Pick sister. But I want a baby brother. Are you the one delivering the baby? No. Then pick sister. Fine. She's here. Hi. <laughs> Shh, no, don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> Give her to me. You're holding her wrong. Hey, what are you doing? Your little sister needs toys. You're way too old for that anyways. Ready? Catch! Ow! 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you in the eye. <laughs> My baby, what did you do to her? It was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? Go to your room. Your sister needs a blood transfusion. What? Yes, it's a really long story, but I told them you would donate your blood. Come on, we gotta go to the hospital now. Wait! You need to donate your blood to your little sister. Come on, we have to get to the hospital now. Wait! Okay, honey, let me see your arm. Samantha! I'm sorry, I can't do it. You know I have a fear of needles. Your little sister needs your help, ma'am. We cannot force her. Maybe you want to donate? Yeah, why don't you donate your blood? After all, she's your favorite. Okay, I'll remember this. Mommy and I are going on vacation. What about me? You're staying here. You have school. We'll only be gone for two weeks or so. Two weeks? But what about food and- You can drive, and here's money for food. Now say bye, sissy. Bye, sissy. I used up all the money mom gave me for gas for school, and now I'm starving, and there's nothing to eat. Sorry you missed me. Leave a message after the beep. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Officer Bloom. Your neighbors have reported this house. Are your parents home, sweetheart? Why did my neighbors report my house? My report says that they heard a young female crying for over an hour. What's the matter, sweetheart? My mom, she went on vacation with my little sister, but she's not answering. Okay, how about your dad? We're not really in contact with him anymore. Listen, you're not in trouble, but would it be okay if I take a look inside your house? That's our pantry. This is all baby food. Yeah, so all that stuff is for my baby sister. Alright, but what about your food? I gotta report this then. Wait, um, is my mom gonna get in trouble? Because if that's the case, I take back what I said. She did leave me like a little bit of money for food. Relax, everything's gonna be okay. Officer, I can assure you I am not neglecting my daughter. Do you think I could have a word with her alone? Go right ahead. You called the cops on me? I'm sorry, I didn't. The neighbors did because... Shh. Do you want to take care of your baby sister by yourself? Then tell the cop what I tell you to say. You're going to tell the cop exactly what I say. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Sissy, you want to play? Not right now, okay? <laughs> Mommy, Sissy's being mean to me. She is. <sighs> I wasn't. I was just telling her that I didn't want to play right now. Baby, go watch Coco Melon. I'm gonna talk to Samantha. Honey? What? I got in contact with your father. No, you didn't. Yes, Samantha, I did, and he has kindly offered to let you live with him. No, Mom, I don't want to go live with him. He's expecting you. Come on, we have to go. No, I haven't talked to him in a long time. I'm not going. Fine. Samantha, dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. Well, that's not what you told the cop, now is it? You said I don't feed you, so here's your food. Is it good, Samantha? Good. Mom? Yeah? I, um, I don't really feel so good. Why is Sissy sleeping? Because we're going on a road trip. Mom, where are we going? Mommy, Sissy's talking to you. Sissy needs to rest, honey. Just ignore her and watch her show. <gasps> Coco Melon! Hello? We're here. Okay, there's your daughter. Go ahead and carry her inside. Karen, she's 17. I'll just wake her up. Come on, Samantha. Hey, wake up. Let's go inside. What the hell is wrong with her? Look, she wasn't gonna come, so I... Karen, are you kidding? Mommy, who's that? He's no one, honey. Just watch your show. Actually, sweetheart, I'm your father, and you guys are coming with me. No, Daniel, we agreed. You take Samantha, and I keep Susie. Besides, you left us because you didn't want kids anymore. Well, now I'm changing my mind after seeing what you do to Samantha. No. Yes, I want my daughters back. You can have one. How about none? Because I called the police. You what? Patty cake, patty cake, patty cake baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Girls, I just wanted to say thank you for giving me a second chance. Yeah, you know, ever since mom has been out of the picture, I've actually really appreciated the fact that I chose to have a baby sister. I love you, sissy. I love you too. Aw, group hug. Honey, plug yourself in. I will. Okay, relax. Where even is my charger? Eh, I'll find it later. Mom, I'm at 1% and I can't find my charger anywhere. Haley, I told you! I don't feel so good. No, hang on. That was the third time this has happened this month. I know, I'm sorry. Thanks for saving me. Honey, I've been working on a new invention. I want to show it to you. 
A bracelet. It's a portable charger that allows you to never run out of battery. It's finally ready for use. Really? Yep. I made it just for you. But Haley, don't tell anyone what it does, okay? Nice bracelet. Thanks. Do I know you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Henry Powers. How did you do that? Huh. I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm gonna need you to come with me. I'm not coming with you anywhere. Oh, yes, you are. What? How are you? How did you take my power? Ugh, I need that bracelet. Mom, we have a problem. What, honey? Well, there was like this crazy guy at school, and he had electric powers or something, and he was sucking the battery life from me. What? He did? Yeah, but don't worry, your bracelet protected me. That must have been a power sucker. A what? There are people who recharge themselves by taking other people's battery life. Do you know where he went? No, I ran away, and then he... What was that? I think he might have followed you. Go, hide. No, I'm not gonna leave you by yourself. You can't hide from me. Leave us alone. Hand over the bracelet. Not a chance. Okay, then. Guess I'll drain her battery. Mom! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna drain all her battery life. No, okay, you can have it. Don't. If he gets that, he'll be unstoppable. She's at 2%. It's her or the bracelet. I choose her. Take it. Finally. Now let her go. All right, a deal's a deal. Uh, Mom? Mom, give me your hand. Not so fast. I'm not done with you, kid. I decided I want more power. What? Leave her alone. I'm taking her battery life. This is for being a little brat. Stop. Mom, go plug yourself in. Otherwise, your battery's gonna die too. Say goodbye to your daughter. No! Uh, uh. Haley, grab the bracelet. No! Why, you little. Uh, give me that back! No! My power! Uh. You did it. Mom, you're at 1%. Here, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm so proud of you, honey. Come here. Want to see your boyfriend's feelings? 100%? Guess he's a keeper. Got this for you. Thanks. Of course, babe. Derek, is that you? Olivia. You two know each other? Yeah, we used to... Date. We were together for a little bit. We should all go out sometime. Yeah, we should. Boyfriend lost a little feelings. Hey, babe, do you maybe want to hang out tonight? Oh, sorry, babe. I already invited the boys over. They'll be here in a little bit. It's game night. More feelings lost. What is going on? You know what? Forget it. I don't care if it's boys' night. I have to go talk to him. Derek, I... <gasps> oh! Holy shit! Is she wearing my... Um, we, we can explain. You should have knocked. Oh! Want to get revenge on your boyfriend? Pick your revenge for boyfriend. Revenge is ready. Take your revenge. Remember to use it wisely. Hey, can we talk? There is nothing to talk about. You and I are over. No, don't say that, okay? I just found out that Olivia is with another guy. Well, you know what they say. Karma is a real- Maria, please. What I did was stupid, and I promise it's not gonna happen again. I want you, not her. Thanks for giving me a second chance. Of course. I'm not one to hold a grudge. You look so beautiful, babe. Thanks. Babe, I gotta tell you, this food is, like, really good. I'm glad you like it. I made it myself. What? I didn't know you could cook. You even got my favorite drink. Should we make a toast? To us. To us. Oh, babe, I hope you don't mind I switched our drinks. The one you gave me smelt a little strong. Whoa! You switched them? Yeah, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. <laughs> You've been coughing a lot. Are you okay? You know what? I'm gonna go get you some water. Your revenge has backfired. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Would you like to receive the antidote? Is that even a question? Yes. Sorry I took so long, babe. Here you go. Thanks. What a hero. Boyfriend has lost a little feelings. That boy gains and loses feelings for me every five seconds. 
Olivia, what the hell are you doing here? It's Derek. He's in the hospital. Haven't you checked your phone? He got into a car accident. Derek? Oh yeah, you came. Oh, I'm so glad I'll have you to take care of me. Actually, no, you won't. Because I'm breaking up with you. What? No! Please. It's like I said, Derek. Karma. It's a... Three, two, one. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year! Let's reveal our marks. Okay, you go first. Okay. You got red. Ah, uh, phew. All right, my turn. Oh, shit. What? Just look at this mirror. <sighs> you got purple. I don't think this is a good idea. Shh, stay still. Yeah, that's the best I can do. Look, who said being gifted is a bad thing? I mean, do we really need to change my mark? Yes, I heard rumors about what might happen to the gifted people, and it's really not good. This just in, all the purple marks will be taken in by the government for experimentation. As they could be a potential threat to normals, and therefore need to be examined by professionals. Honey, let's go, we're late. Wh where are we going? Lizzie, it's time for the mark check. That's today? Yes, let's go. Let's see your mark. It's smeared. Uh, yeah, it just appeared like that. Mm-hmm. We have a code 52. What's a code 52? No questions. Come with me. Just as I thought. You should have done a better job with the makeup. Well, actually, my friend did it. Right. Blame it all on your friend. But she did. Don't get her angry. We don't know what she's capable of. Fine. Prepare the scanner. Scanner? Quiet. No talking, please. Turn your head to the side and stay still. Scanning. Level 10. Oh my gosh. What does that mean? Just one. Quick, someone get to her room and get her labeled now. What is going on and why is there a 10 on my neck? It's the danger level of your powers. Powers? What do you mean by powers? Everyone with a purple mob has been gifted with powers. You have them too. I do? Mm -hmm. Now prepare for testing. Welcome to the testing room. We will now determine what power you have. There's been a mistake. I don't have powers. Of course you do. They just haven't been activated. Well, how does that happen? We found that it happens during a time of distress. Okay, now that's on. Let's try mind reading. This is ridiculous. Just say what number you think I'm thinking of. I don't know, uh, two. Wrong. Ow! So sorry, but this is part of the process. Ten. No, wrong again. No, please. I'm telling you guys, I don't have mind reading. Look, it's been half an hour. Probably should give her a break. No, we have to keep going. No, she needs to rest. Would both of you just be quiet? Are you guys almost done shopping yet? Can you, like, stop complaining? Ocean, do you like this dress? Yeah, it's cute, I guess. Okay, cool, because you're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Your total is 5,200 words. That is an insane amount of words. So what? It doesn't affect you. We're hungry. Okay, then go buy yourself your own food. I am done paying for you guys. You brat! How dare you! You know we don't have a lot of words! Well, maybe if you guys didn't talk so much, that wouldn't be a problem. <gasps> That's it! I'm calling Daddy! Oh my gosh, he's so gonna yell at her. No, wait! What do you guys want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we thought. Look! The Prince! Let's go talk to him! Are we allowed to? Are we allowed to? Of course you're not! Just stay here! I swear, she is so annoying! Excuse me, but what if I told you I could help you meet the Prince? And all I need are your words. You want me to give you my infinite words? Mm-hmm. But I'll get your stepsisters to leave you alone, too. You could do that? How? Through magic, of course. Just look at how hot the prince is. I mean, don't you want him? He is very handsome, but I just can't give up my words. I don't even know if I can trust you. My dear, I live to help others. In fact, I'll even give you a chance to gain your words back. All you have to do is get the prince to fall in love with you. But without my words, how will I get him to- You have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. <laughs> Ocean, we want more food. I don't have all day. Okay, you have a deal. Excellent choice. <laughs> Perfect. And one more thing about the deal. 
You have 48 hours to get the prince to fall in love with you, or your words are mine forever. Ocean, we're hungry. Let's go. Forget. Why are you talking to that weird girl and her grandma? I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here. Grandma? Why? I ought to turn them into clams. Let's just get you to the prince. The prince will be here any minute. Good luck. Your time starts now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Do you need some help? You don't have any words left, do you? You must be lost. It's not safe out here. Please, come with me. Is that better? What's your name? Oh, right. Uh, wait here. Ocean. That's a beautiful name. I wish I could give you words, but my father, he made it against the... Son, who are you talking to? So, how many do you have? One. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm sure it'll be better next year. Hey, girl. Any luck this year? It's okay. I'll be here for you. Come on. Let's get to class. Oh, look. It's the loser that never talks. Any words this year? I'll take that as a no. Oh, shut up, Olivia. Excuse me? Oh, look, the mute is all alone. No one to stand up for her this time. What's that? Did you want to say something? I thought so. Oh, honey, you're home. Did you have a good day at school? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, no, sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean... Honey. Good morning, Mom. You're talking. I'll tell you all about it later. I'm going to school. Guess what? Wait, how are you talking? The system offered me to steal Olivia's words. Giselle, that's a criminal offense. Wait, what? Yeah, they can lock you up for it. I had no idea. I'm gonna get into so much trouble. How does she even have infinite words? Hey, is it possible for somebody to have infinite words? Infinite words? No way. Well, Olivia did. Now I have them. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Just relax, you don't know that. Go in there and act like you know nothing. I'll try. You can do this. Did you see me, Mr. Fitz? Yes, hi. I presume you know about Olivia's words? Yeah, I may have heard about it. Do you have any idea who might have stolen them? No, I have no idea. If you're lying to me, you're going to be in big trouble. I promise, I don't know anything. Okay then, be sure to let me know if you do. I will. What am I going to do though? I'm going to find out I'm lying and... Giselle? Olivia? I should have known it was you. No, no, this is all a big misunderstanding. Save it. You're going to be locked up for a long time. Wait. If I have your words, how are you talking? That doesn't concern you now, does it? The only important thing here is I found out who stole them. No, please. I can explain. Giselle? Olivia? Come with me. Giselle? Olivia? Come with me. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm here regarding Olivia's words. We're going to sort this out. Okay. Where are we? Leave the questions to me. Did you or did you not steal Olivia's words? Well, yes I did, but it's not my fault. Stop lying. She did steal them. You better start telling the truth. How did you take them? The system offered me to steal them. That's impossible. I promise you I'm telling the truth. How many words did you steal? It says she had infinite. Well, that's impossible. Unless she's been stealing yours. Wait. So she's been stealing my words all along? Of course I have. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for you. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry about the confusion, miss. 
It's okay, at least she's locked up now. We have taken away all of her words and given them back to you. Thank you. I know you guys tell me to stop messing with my hair, but my bangs need a trim. Am I gonna go to a stylist? No. I'm gonna cut them myself with my baby tiny scissors. I just wanna do some baby pieces in the front cause I don't trust myself, but I also can't see cause of the bangs. Okay, I'm just gonna say fuck it and start cutting. <laughs> I don't wanna mess them up. That's my biggest worry that they're just gonna like look really bad. I don't think that that's even. I think I need to cut a little bit more on this side. Hopefully I won't regret this. Okay, I'm too scared and I barely took anything off, but I can definitely see now, which is good. I think that they're cute. My hair is always really messy, so you probably won't even tell if they're kind of uneven. Okay guys, I just got back from the festival day two and my hair is looking a little crazy, but the makeup has stayed on for the entire duration of the festival because of this NYX Cosmetics mattifying setting spray. It is so impressive and look at these stars. The dating standards in 2023 are literally on the floor. Like when did a date become getting in a car and just sitting in the parking lot? I just want someone to serenade me. Is that too much to ask? If you agree that romance is dead, then you're gonna like this song. I keep denying Mom, what's this location thingy? Honey, that means you're the special one of the family. Huh? One family member from each household is given the gift of knowing people's locations. Sweet. Cool, sis. Makes up for the fact that you've got no other talent. <laughs> Your brother isn't answering his phone. Where's my brother? He's at Jessica's, and I think we probably know what they're both doing. <gasps> oh, he is so grounded. Dad, you're back from your trip early. Uh, yeah, I am. Secret handshake? What? <laughs> Our secret handshake, we always do it when you get back from your trip. Oh, of course. Uh, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm just so tired. I'm gonna go lay down. He would never forget our secret handshake. I might be crazy to ask this, but where's my dad? Mm. It's him. Hey, you in there? Hi, Hi honey. Oh, hey, dad. Mm. Is your phone ringing? No. Oh, really? Because I'm pretty sure I hear mm. that. Who's calling you? No one. It was just uh, a video that I was watching. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go now. Hello? Penny, hey, listen to me very carefully. Dad? Yes, that man in the house is not me. Get your mom and your brother and get out. Wait, what? There's a lot more to explain, but... Hello? <phone rings> come on, come on, pick up. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. What? Where is my dad? Dinner's ready. Okay, just a minute. Hey, sis, thanks a lot for snitching on me. Come here. Get off of me, what's up? Shh, something very bad has happened and I need your help. So there's a man pretending to be dad? Yes. And our real dad is in a basement? Yeah. Your dinner is getting cold. Mom, there's something that we need to- Hey, kids, get to the dinner table now. Doesn't the food look good? Um, who made this? Would you believe it? Your father did. Actually, I'm not hungry. Ah, uh, Penny, come on. Well, I'm starving. No, Mom, don't. Mm, this is grave. It's a new recipe. Can we be excused? You can, but your brother is still eating. Let him eat in peace, honey. But, Penny, it's fine. Just go upstairs. Hello, Penny. <gasps> Dad! You can cut the act. You know I'm not your father. Your mom and brother are taking a little nap. Where are they? Why don't you ask for yourself? <laughs> Where's my brother and mom? Where's my mom and brother? Where are you taking them? Who are you? Well, Penny, I'm actually your uncle. What? Didn't your dad ever tell you he had a twin? <laughs> what do you want with us? Your dad owes me a lot of money, and he hasn't been very cooperative, so I decided I needed a little leverage. That's where your family comes into play. Are my mom and brother... They're fine, and they'll stay that way as long as your dad cooperates. And what about me? Someone with your power can be very useful for my line of work. I think I'll keep you. Your dad escaped from my men. Ask where he is. Where's my dad? So, what's it say? It says he's in his car. Well, he's too late. You and I are leaving. I don't think so. Oh! Penny! Hey! Are you okay? Is it really you? Yes, Penny, I swear it's me, honey. I just found your mom and brother. They're all right. You're safe now. 
Red Rover, Red Rover, we call Brianna over. Mommy, there's little girls calling me. You need to find them. They'll be holding hands and you need to break through or they'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> Come join us, Brianna. You're almost out of time. <coughs> this morning, little girls called me to play Red Rover. My mommy says it's not real. It's just a myth. It's a fake story. You're lying. No, it's not. I saw them. I had to break through their hands. Stop lying. Red Rover, Red Rover, we call Ellie over. Who's there? Who's calling me? Ellie, do you hear them? The little girls? You need to find them and break through or they'll take you. I don't believe you. Hurry up. You only have 20 seconds. No, no, it's not real. Ellie, hurry up. Do you hear them, the little girls? You need to find them and break through or they'll take you. I don't believe you. Hurry up! You only have 20 seconds! No, no, it's not real! Ellie, hurry up! Come join us, Ellie. Ah! <laughs> Ellie, you survived! I know, I'm so lucky. So it is real, the game of Red Rover? Yes, it is. I saw them, the little girls. I told you guys it was real. You didn't believe me. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Katie over. Don't play Red Rover. The little girls might hear you and call you over. We are the little girls. So that means they, they... They took us. And you're going to be next. No, oh, no, please tell me you're joking. <laughs> die in the dark or die in the light? I have to choose dark. Light is everywhere. There's no way I can avoid it. <laughs> Hey, Bree. Bree! Sorry, I was just sleeping. I've learned to sleep with my eyes open because if I close my eyes too long, I'll die. What are you talking about? Oh, wow, that skirt is so cute. Thanks! It's from Halara. It's super stretchy. It has built-in shorts. And the best part is, because of the design, it doesn't ride up. It's too bright in here. Let's turn the lights off. No, don't do it. If it gets dark in here, I'll die. Hey, Bree, are you okay? Yeah, my vision's just a little blurry. I think I need my eyes checked. Thanks for coming in today, Brianna. I have some unfortunate news to tell you. You're rapidly going blind. Wait, if I go blind, that means everything will be dark. I have some unfortunate news. You're rapidly going blind. Wait, if I go blind, that means everything will be dark. Everything's getting so blurry. Brianna, how'd it go at the eye doctors? Not good. I'm rapidly going blind. And if I go blind, everything will be dark. And that means... Oh no. Brianna, that skirt is so cute. Thank you. It's a lucid skirt from Halara. It has built-in shorts, and it looks good from every angle. No way. I got the option again. I have to choose light this time. Yo, why are you covering your eyes? Because if I see the light, I'll die. You're lying. Move your hand. Only one? He's so innocent. I love him. Two at once? It's okay. It's okay. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Three at once? When we finally meet, him and I are gonna have to have a little chat about this one. My soulmate's body count is six. I mean, it's not that bad. It could be worse. That's horrible. Absolutely crazy. Is that crazy? How much is your soulmate's body count? Zero. Um, zero? Calm down, guys. It's 2021. There's nothing wrong with being a little promiscuous. Their body count isn't how many they've been with. It's how many they've killed. What? I can't believe it. I can't believe my soulmate is a killer. Calm down. Just breathe. You'll probably never even have to meet him. You know, it's honestly offensive that the universe thinks I belong with somebody like that. Let's get our mind off things. Let's watch TV. Breaking news. The Cheerios Bandit is on the loose. <gasps> what kind of name is that? The Cheerios Bandit? He already has over 10 bodies. Could that be him? Your soulmate? I, I need some fresh air. I think I'm gonna throw up. There's no way. There's no way the Cheerios Bandit could be my soulmate. Who are you? Come with me. It's 
time for the big reveal. What did I get? You got gold. Gold? <gasps> I knew it. I was born for fame. Okay, show me yours. What did I get? You got gold too. Oh my god, we are so lucky. Girl, did you hear they're looking for a girl with a pink mark? They say she's the long lost princess. What? <laughs> no way. The prince is also giving a pink mark. There's only two people within the whole kingdom with a pink mark. You know, gold never really suit me, but wearing a prince sure will. Hello, sir. I'm here to see the prince. Nobody sees the prince. Yeah, okay. Oh, ma'am, I'm so sorry. Please come with me right away. <laughs> of course. You're so beautiful, just as I expected. Ah! I mean, me too. You're, you're handsome, I mean, not beautiful. Well, you are beautiful, but... <laughs> I get what you mean. Well, you better get home and rest. Our wedding's tomorrow. I now pronounce you Prince and Prince. Wait, she's a liar. Emily? Who's that? That's Emily. She's my best friend. Her mark is fake. She's not the real princess. I am. But Emily, your mark was gold. I covered it because I was scared of being royalty. But I can't sit back and watch you lie any longer. Is, is this true? Both of you are coming with me till we figure this out. No. Wait. Your mother knew you so well. That dress looks perfect on you, honey. You look like a real-life princess. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Of course. You ready to go? Can't believe you and Rebecca are tied. Well, I'd like to change that. The name's Brock. May I kiss you? Um... Go ahead, Sid. It's time you put Rebecca in her place. Peter, I made it to 90%. No way. You're the most popular girl in school now. <laughs> Listen, I've actually been meaning to tell you. And the winner for prom queen goes to Miss Sydney White. Yo, Sydney! Oh my gosh, she's my friend. Sydney, Sydney. First, she becomes more popular than me, and now she's prom queen. It's time for Plan B. I need your help. You remember how Sydney's allergic to apples? Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I have a job for you. Stand there for your picture. Mind if we take it without the gems? Smile at Sydney. She looks so pretty. Sid, Rebecca's super upset that you took her title. You better be careful. Wait, do you know where Peter went? Heard you're looking for Peter. Yeah, have you seen him? Actually, yes. Let me show you where he is. Lucas, Peter isn't here. Yeah, I know. I... I lied, okay? What? Why would you... Because I wanted to get you alone so you and I could, you know, kiss and you can get up to 100%. No, I don't care about my popularity score anymore. But Sydney, once you hit 100%, you meet your soulmate. You could meet him tonight. Do you really think so? I know so. That's the law. One kiss is all it takes. Ugh! Lucas, did you have something on your lips? Just chapstick. All natural apple chapstick. Apples? I'm allergic to- I know. Miss Cindy White? Yes, that's me. Hi, welcome to Castle High. Your popularity score will now appear above your head. Don't ask me how to make it go up. It's a secret. Do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies? Yes, I'm actually highly allergic to apples. Noted. All right, get to class. Here is your name tag. Oh, look. It's the most unpopular girl in school. How did you get yours up to 70%? <laughs> Oh, Sydney, you're so pathetic. Wanna come to my party? Uh, yeah. Sweet, I'll airdrop you the dress. Okay. Sid, we're playing truth or dare. Pick one. Dare. Okay, we dare you to kiss Peter. Whoa! <laughs> it's just for fun. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, okay. 快手,拥抱每一种生活. Your popularity went up. Congrats. Don't congratulate her. She only has 10%, and she needs 100% to meet her soulmate. And we all know that's not gonna happen. Don't listen to what Rebecca says to you. She's a nobody. Peter, she's literally the most popular girl in school. I know, but not for long. We have a plan. Who's we? Me and seven of my other basketball teammates. Meet us at the boys' locker room during lunch. Peter, I really shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Sid, it's all good. Let me go get the team. Guys, this is Sydney. Hey! Yo, Sydney! Hey. You guys want to raise my popularity score? Yes, ma'am. We think you're kind of cute and way nicer than Rebecca. And since you got 10% right now, if you kiss all of us, you're going to go up to 80. Making you more popular than Rebecca Queen. 
I don't know about this. Come on, Sydney. We're sick of Rebecca thinking she's better than everyone. Hey, Siri. Who's the most popular girl in Castle High? You. But not for long. Who's the second most popular? Sydney. White. What? Yo, just one more kiss. She did it. I made it to 80%? Yep, I can't wait to see Rebecca's face. Yo, Peter, you're right. She was a good kisser. You said that? Oh, yeah. I know. I... Somebody's got a crush. Oh. Oh. Jason, shut up. Not you all exposing Peter. <laughs> hey, Sydney. I see you raised your percentage. Well, so did I. Looks like we're tied. Sid, you better watch your back. Why? Because Rebecca's totally obsessed with being the most popular. And if you come for her title, girl, she's going to come for you. Sydney, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Peter. Hi, I wanted to ask you if you, um, if you wanted to go to prom with me. Sure, I'd love to. Sweet, I'll, uh, I'll pick you up at eight. Dad, I need a prom dress. Actually, sweetheart, your mother left you something for this day. She always thought of everything. Let me show you. Ooh, a button. No, don't press that. Why not? Nobody knows what it does, and we're not allowed to press it. Why is it there, then? I don't know why it's there, but you're not going to be the one to find out. What if it's, like, a million dollars? Or what if it literally ends the world? You need to go to school and don't press it while you're there, okay? Okay, I won't. I heard that someone got rich from pressing it last year. What are you guys talking about? What the button does, we all want to know. Someone told me that it's like a genie, and if you press it, you get three wishes. Hey, Bailey, I'll give you $100 if you press the button right now. Make it 200 and you got a deal. Easy, you got yourself a deal. You're not really gonna press the button, right? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Nobody knows and that's why you don't press it. We'll be fine. Does that say what I think it says? Oh my God, we're all gonna die. Hey, whoa, are you okay? No, dude, he broke up with me over the phone. I am so sorry. He does not deserve you. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking selfies. But you were just sobbing like three minutes ago. Nah, I'm over it. I don't know if you guys remember, but a while ago, I had wispy bangs. My intrusive thoughts are getting to me right now, and I kind of want them back. So come with me to cut my hair and potentially fuck it up. I'm gonna do very small sections because you can always cut more hair off. Unfortunately, you cannot put it back. This feels like too much, even though it's like four strands of hair. Okay, I think this is good. <laughs> you know what? We don't have time to be a baby. I'm gonna cut it short first. Oh, <laughs> I already like it. It's not even short enough, but it's cute. I almost forgot to film myself cutting more. Okay, I hope that wasn't too much. That might have been a little short. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was like, I'm crying. It's not that bad, right? Okay, I think I'm just dramatic. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Honestly, I should have left them long. The next video is gonna be me selling this hair on eBay so that I can buy a wig to cover this. Please be a long time. I really wanna stare at Josh in fourth period. What? What am I supposed to do if I can't see the whole day? Hey, what do you think of this shirt I'm wearing? Uh, nothing, since I only got four minutes to see today. Um, Bailey, I'm to your right. Oh. Am I gonna have to drive to school today? No, bitch, I'll drive. You can't see. Right. <laughs> um, you're in my seat. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. You're not even looking at me. Shouldn't you check before you sit down? I literally can't see anything. Well, then feel around or something. I don't know. Damn. Don't worry, Stacy. this will teach her. Who did that? Y'all are assholes. She did not deserve that. Thank you. I'm over here. Sorry. Oh, wow. <clears throat> uh, you're really beautiful. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh, uh, nothing. You are a terrible liar. You know you can't go outside until you turn 21. But why? I'm 18, isn't that close enough? No, you're not going outside. I need to know what's out there. I'm going to work. Don't try anything while I'm gone. Okay, see you later. Why is there nothing good on Netflix right now? Who's there? That's definitely not my mom. Bailey, honey, listen to me. 
There's somebody inside the house. I saw it on the cameras. You have to leave now. But I can't go outside. It's just this one time. The police are on the way to save you right now. What do you mean they'll save me? Okay, this is it. I'm going out the window. <coughs> Ooh. Hey, you can't touch anything. Why not? You can only touch three things today. I don't understand what the big deal is. You have to save them in case of an emergency, okay? I'm sure it'll be fine. You can only touch your own body or things you're already wearing. I know. Everyone take out your textbooks and open to page three. I can't. You can't touch anything again today, Bailey? Just how it is, I'm sorry. You can follow along with what we're doing on the board. Hey, do you think you could hand me a pencil by any chance? No, uh, I'm sorry. Why not? I can see that you can touch three things. Just use one of them. No, I'm sorry. Just ask someone else. I want you to do it. Hey, what are you doing? Let go of me. Look, it's not that hard. Bitch, did you just slap me? Yes. You're gonna regret doing that. Reason? Reason of what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. You have to pick the reason you die. I don't want to choose the reason that I die. You have to. We all do. Well, it's definitely not going to be by drowning. I'm going to pick the most painless one that I can. Good luck. I don't think any of the options are good. Murder? Oh my god, that's way worse. No. Can this give me an option that doesn't suck brutally? <laughs> Bailey! Oh, sis, what's wrong? I didn't pick a reason in time and it picked one for me. What? It picked one for you? Apparently you only get three choices i didn't know that i'm so scared to ever get into a car again i'm so sorry be careful with your choices okay i will please just give me something painless disappear and stay what does this mean it's a new form of population control people can vote for you to disappear or stay why do you look worried well dad because i haven't exactly been nice to people Everyone's going to vote for me to disappear. Oh, honey, it's going to be okay. Just try to apologize. Looks like it's finally payback time for you making fun of me all these years. I understand. I'm sorry. Hey, Giselle, remember that time you cut my ponytail off? Jessica, that was in middle school. Can't we just forget about that? Actually, we can't. You never even said you're sorry. I'm sorry. Giselle? Jake, hi. Remember that time you cheated on me? Look, I told you I was sorry. If I could take it back, I would. Well, you can't, so... Hey, um, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... Hey, uh, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... You voted for me to stay. Why? You're always mean to me, but I don't think anyone deserves to disappear. Thank you. I promise I'll try to change. Guys, look at him. He's such a loser. Hey, leave him alone. Look who's talking. You're a big bully yourself. Yeah, well, I'm trying to change. <laughs> you could never change. Shit, I forgot my pen. Hey, you could borrow mine. Wait, really? Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. I think it'll be better for you to just disappear. Mom, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. And I think it'll be better if you just disappear. Mom, no, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. What's going on here? Dad, Mom voted for me to disappear. Is this true? Yes, she's just a waste of space. You know what, Giselle, just come with me. Dad, what's going on? It's time I tell you the truth. She's not your real mom. Are you serious? Yes, I'm sorry. I never knew she would treat you like this. You lied to me my whole life. I only need one more vote to disappear, so I'm going to go find someone to give me that. 
Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. No, I said vote for me to disappear, not stay. But I did vote for you to disappear. What? You must be the one. The one? What do you mean, the one? I can't tell you here. Come with me. Can we stop running and you just tell me what's going on? There's a rumor that there's a person that's unable to disappear no matter how many votes they get. And I think it's you. <laughs> me? Why would it be me? Because when I voted for you to disappear, it went to stay. People are going to come looking for you. You guys, there they are. They found us. We have to go. Okay, I think we're safe here. What are we going to do? I haven't been completely honest with you. There isn't only one person unable to disappear. There's two, and I'm one of them. So you're one too? Yes, and here's what we need to do. Weekend one of Coachella is sadly over, so I'm going to rate all the outfits that I wore this year. Okay, this was my day one outfit. I'm obsessed with it. It's giving 2000s Avril Lavigne. The only thing I would have changed about this is I wish the short was like ever so slightly shorter. But the Converse were a smart pick because last year I wore heels and I learned my damn lesson. I'm gonna give this one like a 7 out of 10. Day 2, oh! I was dying over this and everyone else was also dying over this. It's giving bitch on the back of the motorcycle that you can never stop thinking about when you see her. This is a 10 out of 10. I would have not changed anything about this look at all. It was perfect. This is day 3 and it was really really cute but so impractical. I had to fully tape the top to my body because it would not stay where it was supposed to be. The skirt was also falling. You can see my underwear in this pic. But regardless, it was iconic. I'm gonna give this one like a nine out of 10. The fringe gloves, oh. I'm so sad that Coachella is over, but I'm also glad that I had a redemption arc from whatever my outfits were last year. Everyone and their mother is freaking out over this bold glam filter, so we're gonna try to recreate it. Jump scare. I have some things, so let's do it. Going in with a blurring primer because I did not have a single pore with that filter on. In case any of my pores are left, I'm gonna use a blurring BB cream too. This concealer is literally white because we wanna lift and snatch the face. I am built like an egg, but this filter gave me cheekbones. I want a little baby button nose. I was about to use this. What happened? <laughs> Did anyone else go follow Selena Gomez after all the drama? My brows are already dark, but this filter made them even darker. That's definitely aggressive. Why do I look like a who? Shine bright like a diamond. I really don't want to do this, but it's time to overline my lips. I already have lip filler, so this is a lot. It's giving fish from fishtails. Spot the difference. Okay, final reveal. This is me with the filter on, and here's me with the filter off. It looks even crazier because I already have a full face of makeup on. How do you guys think I did? Let me know in the comments. There are so many different kinds of people that go to Coachella. First, you got the people who somehow have everything in their bag. Oh, I think my foundation's messed up. Oh, your makeup's coming off? I have a mirror. We got oil wipes. I have liquid IV in case you're thirsty, a lip gloss. I also have a fan and some hair clips. Then you got the people who will take any opportunity they get to take a photo. Could you take a photo of me right now? The light is so good. Yeah, I guess. Slay, get it. Okay, were those cute? Um, sure. Okay, let's go over there and take some more too. Then you also have that friend who kind of can't hang but will rally for their favorite artist. Are you sure you're okay? We don't have to stay. Yeah, I'm fine. I have to watch Blink-182. You are incredibly determined. What kind of person would you be at Coachella? Get ready with me as I tell you guys about the time I had a stalker. When I first moved to LA, I lived in an apartment complex that had a gym with it. But then I moved to somewhere that had no amenities at all, so I had to go and get a different gym membership. Since my rent had gone up, I was like, um, bitch, I'm gonna save some money and go to Planet Fitness. Key piece of information, this was not in the best area at all. Everything had been totally fine, no weird experiences, until this one day I smiled at a dude in the parking lot and then he left a note on my windshield. I was just trying to be friendly because he was getting out of the car right next to me, but oops. the note basically said, you're cute, call me, and I kind of laughed at it and never did because it's weird. Fast forward two months, I had gotten a new car and it was like 9 p.m. I come out of the gym and there is a sticky note pasted right above my door handle. This is what the note said. Mm. Obviously someone was butthurt that I didn't text them. This man knew what my old car looked like, now knew what my new car looked like, and knew what time I went to the gym. I went back the next day and canceled it immediately, but they couldn't do anything about it. Hold my drink. Okay. I gotta use the bathroom. Thanks for holding this. Of course. This is good, babe. Mm. I thought you might like it. What's it called? It's called, uh, Taken by Surprise. Why is it called, uh... That's why. Just one more kill and you're rid of me. 
You're gonna miss me, aren't you? You wish. Well, tomorrow's assignment is no joke. Go get some sleep. You're gonna need it. He's actually kind of cute. Damn it, stop it. No attachments. This is for your freedom. So you're telling me that this guy's a billionaire? Yes, and he's got two bodyguards. So you gotta work your charm and get him alone. Then, you're gonna give him some of this. It looks like water, but if he drinks it, BAM! He's dead. Think you can handle it? If it means I never have to see your face again, then yes. Hey. Hey. What's your name? My name is... <clears throat> uh... Are you always this articulate? Haha. <laughs> uh, Brett, sorry. My name's Brett. And that's why I hate snakes. <laughs> so, are those big strong men over there your bodyguards? Yeah, I have them for my protection. Oh. Is, uh, is something wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just, I wish we could go somewhere a little more alone. This better? Yes, but uh, do you think you could get me some water? Yeah. One sec. Cheers to, uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait! To, uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait! What? Your drink, it, it has a bug in it. No, don't! And that ruined my carpet? You'll, you'll thank me later. It's alright, I've been meaning to redo this place anyways. So you've been single for a while now? Yeah. Huh, you know, for me, it's always been kind of hard to stay alone. Sometimes it's better to be alone. No one can hurt you. Hey, listen, I, I get why you feel like that. But I want you to know, I'm not that type of guy. We should stop this before I... So you're telling me he's not dead? I am done working for you. No, no, sweetheart. We had a deal. You remember the obedience necklace, right? <laughs> Don't make me use it. So tomorrow, no security, just you and me. That sounds great. I'll... I'll see you then. Good job. And tomorrow, you get that kill count up to 50. Hey. Hi. Remember, I'm watching you. You okay? Yeah, uh, do you think you could just get me some water? Yeah, of course. Okay, when he comes back, you know what to do. Got your... Natasha, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't do this. I don't have a choice. You have five seconds to take the shot. I don't know who's making you do this, but you always have a choice. Do it! Three, two, one. No! Run. Ugh. Guess I'll have to do it myself. Say goodbye to your freedom and your little boyfriend. Wait! How could you? You wanted 50 kills? Ugh. Well, you got it. Security! Let's see those hands. If they need to arrest me, I understand. Actually, I work for the CIA, and if you're willing to come work with us, we'll drop all the charges. Does that sound like a deal? Yes, I would like that. Thank you, Brett. You saved my life. I'll never forget.